friends. It's her Rosa Shipe here. I apologize for the delay. Um, I was trying to get the uh, random generator to work properly and to make sure that the giveaway is uh, going to go strong. So my thoughts about this episode. Uh, we had another time jump. I'm not sure exactly what time it is or what it should be. It was a little confusing. Um, given that we're getting Ellie's perspective on everything. Um, and a little bit about Darlene and the weekend. Like, which weekend are we losing here? Because initially we had 11 days to the UN vote, then 10 days, and a Monday. And then we were at the UN Congo vote, which went China's way. So we're on the same day, I guess. And we're supposed to have Sei Chu go off. So, hmm little curious on that. Um, I like the fact that it was a completely one-shot episode. I don't think a full hour one-shot has happened before on television. I know they've done a lot of live shows. Uh, I think ER did that, like a stint of that one time in the past. I know Rock, the, the Fox television show, black comedy uh, uh, drama show back in the 90s, did an entire season live. Uh, what are the live episodes? There's been a few live episodes and musicals, but I don't think there's ever been an entire episode of television done in one shot. So that was fascinating. That was interesting. Not only that, but we had um, a shift in narrative, if you will, or perspective, where we went from, I guess, our main protagonist, Elliot, to Angela, who's just, whew! ever ever climbing the villain chart there so uh she pulled off the job herself uh she's clearly having a little hesitation because while she does want to take down again she she wants to take down e corp but she doesn't want to blow up a bunch of people but i think she kind of knows she's being lied to by Irvin, and it'll be interesting to see what happens next if she is successful and uh, helping maybe Elliot get those people out of the building because I don't think they're going to stop the building from being blown up. We got, wow, surprise, Darlene confesses that um, she's a narc, she's with the FBI. I don't think Elliot has any leg to stand on to be pissed at Darlene. He has a freaking split personality. He's about to commit mayhem and killing a bunch of people. He... He has no right to be angry at Darlene. None. I, uh, I was a little annoyed with him. A little bit about the level of anger. But I think it shows just a little bit. Um, we've seen this before. This, uh, this little hidden anger in Elliot. And we've seen most of it on the Mr. Robot side. But Elliot himself has it. And uh, you can tell that Darlene's just a wreck. I'm wondering what, what exactly she has done during that weekend. A big old riot of F Society uh, d destroying or trying to attempt to destroy the uh, E Corp building as a distraction for uh, being able to get stage two off. We didn't see Tyrell Wellick. We didn't see Philip Price. We didn't see White Rose, even though she was kind of min mentioned. We didn't see Irvin, but he heard his voice. We still haven't seen Triton, Moby, or Leon, even though Triton and Moby were mentioned. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to watch the episode again just to get my full thoughts. I'm sure there's some stuff I saw missing. I'm sure that the, there was some stuff in the uh, the show that if you're playing the Mr. Murobot ARG game would be uh, totally, I guess you could say, um, help the game a little bit. A lot of computer screams, a lot of computer shots, a lot of stuff in the background, I think, um, for this particular episode, which was fascinating. Just some stuff caught my eye, not everything. But again, I probably have to uh, watch it again. Uh, it's definitely moved the plot forward as far as uh, like the end game, if you will. But there's still a lot of balls in the air. There's still a lot of stuff happening. And we have five more episodes to go. So is everything happening in one day? Are we going to see stage two next episode? And then, yeah, I don't know where they're going because they've so mess with the uh the timeline or narrative if you will we're we gonna get a flashback of one of elliot's weekends uh wow i didn't think they were going to compress things that quickly uh i don't know it's it was it was a, a very interesting episode it was very tense 
this is like uh what kind of horror theme like i wouldn't say horror but very actiony like you know kind of die hard or maybe trap one of those trapped in the building uh angela did kind of give me like a vibe a little bit of uh you know, you have the the women, the women like uh, in the horror movies, are trapped in the house. You know, a little bit of poltergeist, um, a little bit of when a stranger calls kind of feels. A lot of silence. Uh, what's another uh, horror movie that had good house horror movie? Hmm. I have to think some for the review, but it had that kind of sense and tension. Um, there's a movie I, I kept seeing the previews for where like the workers had to get trapped in the building and they have to kill each other or um, they weren't going to get let out or something like that. A little battle, battle royale, a little Hunger Games vibe with the writing and stuff that was going on. But yeah, very tense, very tense episode. Again, uh, I have some thoughts about Angela because she kind of reminds me of a, a throwback villain. Uh, from the 80s that I'll talk about in the review but I really enjoyed the episode I was just like really on the edge of my seat because I thought at any moment maybe Angela might be attacked by some F society rioter or whatever or get caught by the security I expected Elliot to maybe pop up at some point uh, he did at the end but yeah it was very fascinating very interesting and um, yeah <laughs> Um, great, well-directed episode by Sam Ismail. It'd be interesting to see the behind the scenes on how they did that. Like, how they, like, uh, there was a few moments where you can tell that like, people were like, oh, let me do my steps, let me do my steps so you don't ruin the shot. But be interesting to see how many takes it took for them to do the entire episode in one take. If it was actually a one-take episode or did they stitch it together, um, I would like to know. I would like to know how this, how that went down. I haven't checked online or seen or anything like that. Um been focusing making the, the random generator work and uh just watching the episode so let me go to the random generator so i can tell you who won our first prize um if you didn't see in the facebook group uh i made an announcement that i was going to be giving a prizes every week all the way up to uh the last last episode episode 10 uh this week uh if you're a member of the facebook group is a lockpick kit kit by southford it's a um well-established, well-known uh, lockpick company. Uh, they have a good uh, beginner's lockpick group uh, kit, if you can say, that a lot of people use as a beginning. Uh, and it looks kind of similar in um, at least package holding to what Elliot has done in the past when he lockpicked one into Darlene's apartment in episode four with metadata, but in the past and previously he has done when he's lockpicked into people's apartments and places and such. So uh, that's that giveaway and it's a little late, so I can't go through all of them um, exactly. But uh, next week, uh, number six is Red Wheel, the Red Wheel, uh, Red Wheel Barrow book. This the additional book that's supposed to give the gap between season one and season two when Elliot was in jail when he was journaling. Uh, you can have the opportunity to win that. Uh, week seven is an ode to the Swede, Tyro Wellick, where you get Swedish fish, the tea that he was offered in episode three, Legacy as well as an option to either a red wheel barrel uh, a shot glass a hoodie or t-shirt so it's, it's dealer's choice there episode eight see this is where it goes um forget what eight or nine is in the possibility episode 10 um, I might be giving away since there's not going to be a segue 2x fork any longer. Uh, $10 in Bitcoin or your choice of cryptocurrency. Uh, this, all these gifts are available for um, our international members. Uh, if there's any way, like if there's any reason that there's particular gifts and uh, prizes uh, that are listed in the previous post about the gift giveaway, that um, for whatever reason you're incapable of. Uh, receiving for whatever I'll give you the equivalent an Amazon gift card or we will work something out but I'm gonna go pick the winner and then I'm gonna message that winner I'm gonna show you who the winner is I'm gonna message it uh, that winner that winner has three days to respond back otherwise I'll just do it again until uh, someone responds back and go from there so let's get to it let's get to the computer
sorts of reasons why a plane would make an unscheduled landing in Egypt. For all we know, the crew was making a, a pit stop to visit their favorite hookah bar. Refueling records from Luxor Airport for the flights in question show they were running on empty. They never would have made it to Samoa. That's a good business. The point is that Agent Garcia knew that there was a cover up of arms smuggling. Whoever was part of it probably had him killed. There are over 300 people in the State Department who have access to our arms sales approvals who could have falsified those records. You want to solve this? You're going to need my help. I know you're the Secretary on this case, Jensen. Or Jensen, or whoever he was. So the winner is Lee Skyrays. It wasn't. I'm gonna have to pick a different random generator to make it more fanciful, but right there, Lee Skyrays. So if Lee Skyrays doesn't respond back, then the second person, and going on down the list here, um, until we get a winner. But Lee Skyrays, you have won your uh, own lockpick group. Lock Lock pick set. It's very late. It's very late here. Lock pick set. Um, I'm gonna message you, let you know that you're the winner. Um, you know, give me the details of where you want me to send it to. You, send it, and we can go from there. So that's it for this live reaction. Another great episode of Mr. Robot. Again, I just this season it's just been very mind boggling. It'd be interesting to see where they go from here. Uh, but that's it for now. Logging off. Um, until next time, friends.